Hi Taurus, welcome to Northeast Tarot. My name is Tracy and today I'm going to be doing your September 2015 monthly tarot reading. So this is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising signs. So I just want to thank you, Taurus, for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes, all of your nice comments. They actually mean the world to me. All right, I'm just shuffling the cards right now. So Taurus, I am now on Instagram. So if you are on Instagram and you're interested in following me, please do. I do try to post daily Oracle guidance messages. We're already getting cards flying out, Taurus. Ooh. I'll keep this one to the side, Taurus. It did just come flying out. It is the Justice card. All right, so please show me the messages for Taurus for the month of September. Please show me the upcoming messages for Taurus in the upcoming month of September. Please show me the future messages for Taurus for this upcoming month of September. What does Taurus need to know for this upcoming month of September? Please show me the messages for Taurus for the month of September. Bubbles Taurus. All right. Ah, very nice, Taurus. I'm just going to stick this one. And let's see where's a good place for it. Right over here to the side. Oh my, oh my, oh my, Taurus. Oh my. Very interesting. Wow, Taurus. This is very, very interesting. What a month. What a month you're going to have. All right. So the card at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, is the Five of Swords, which is all about, it can be, you know, talking about loss or sadness. It can be talking about some sort of deceit or conflicts. So this is at the bottom of the deck. Um, so I don't want to say that this is the overall energy for the month of September. Um, but just, just be on the lookout for this energy of the Five of Swords. They do say being um, forewarned is being forearmed. So... Quite an interesting spread. You have some beautiful cards. Taurus, you have quite a few major arcana cards. All right, Taurus. It's definitely going to be an interesting month, and I'm a Taurus myself as well. I, I don't know if I, I've mentioned that, but this is definitely looking interesting. So Taurus, at the center of the reading, in the current situation, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful card. The Ace of Cups is talking about, it can be a new relationship right off the bat. This can be a new relationship that's starting up um, because Aces represent newness. So this is, this is definitely some sort of, something new. Something new on an emotional level um, it makes us very happy, very happy and very content on an emotional level. This is some sort of new beginning. This can be a marriage. This can be a birth. So there might be some Tauruses out there that possibly are having a baby in the month of September. 
Um, but then for other Tauruses, this might be a new relationship starting. This could be, because it is at the center of the reading, this is going to be very significant um, in the month of September. You could receive some sort of... Um, uh, I almost want to say news of some sort of something that's going to make you extremely happy. I mean, that can be it as well, but this is normally, you know, aces represent new beginnings. So this this is this is some sort of new beautiful beginning for many Tauruses out there. If not, this might be someone extremely close to you getting married or perhaps having a baby. Um, but this is just a beautiful card to have at the center of the reading, Taurus. And interesting enough, what I have crossing the Ace of Cups is actually the Lover's card, Taurus. So, the Lover's card uh, crossing the Ace of Cups is either helping or hindering it. So... I would say for some Tauruses in the month of September, some, I think maybe, you know, a smaller number, that's going to be the challenge is maybe you meet someone that's this Ace of Cups, you meet someone that you really like, and, you know, it's it's maybe moving at a slow pace, and that would be the challenge is, is somehow speeding it up, because the Lovers is all about... You know, that connection, that bond, it's its all about chemistry and, and lust and romance. Um, so that can be some sort of a challenge. But for, for more Tauruses, I would say for probably a larger number of Tauruses, this is definitely a new relationship taking place. Um, Yes, Ace of Cups with the Lover's card. This is this is definitely going to be a new relationship for a lot of you Tauruses out there. Um, it's going to be a lusty one. It's going to be one um, where you feel a, a strong connection with the person. See, it's a beautiful card. And this this is the Shadow Scape stack. To me, this isn't right now, this isn't like the soulmate card. To me, that's more the Two of Cups. Um, but this is a very romantic card in the here and now. And it, it's, it does, you know, talk about some, some good times ahead. Um, now, another alternate meaning that I will throw out there, because this is a general reading is the lover's card also represents a head or heart decision that needs to be made. So this might be for some Tauruses out there, this is a head or heart decision that needs to be made. So this isn't necessarily talking about just a full-blown new relationship that's just starting. This, this is going to be for some Tauruses um, talking about some sort of decision that needs to be made um, and you're really weighing your options you know between your head and your heart for some Tauruses out there so what I have below you which is the basis of the situation is the ace of pentacles so two aces right right in a row Taurus so this is absolutely beautiful so aces um, as you already know they represent new beginnings because this is the ace of pentacles um, you know right off the bat I want to say this is some sort of new beginning or a new job, um, new beginning when it comes to, you know, money and finances. This is, this can be like a new, for some Tauruses out there, you might have just started a new job and you met someone in the workplace and now, you know, things are taking off and you're actually 
getting into a relationship with that person. That is a possibility for some Tauruses out there. I will just say that right off the bat. Um, but this, this Ace of Pentacles doesn't always just have to talk about money. This can be another card talking about a new relationship because it is just representing new beginnings. Um, and it, the Ace of Pentacles can stand for contracts as well. So the card that, that did fly out when I was shuffling was the Justice card. So I actually have the Ace of Pentacles with the Justice card right here side by side. And both of these cards do represent contracts. So this is very well going to be some Tauruses actually getting married or perhaps signing a contract perhaps to a house. Maybe some Tauruses just bought a house. But yes, this can be several different things. Um, and, and marriage contracts is definitely one possibility. Um, especially with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers card here, Taurus. So, so another meaning of the Justice card, it is contracts, but it is also just talking about balance. So Taurus, you might be very, very balanced in the month of September. What I have coming up in the recent past, and this is the recent past, is I did pull the Devil card, Taurus. And because this is a general reading, um, this is going to be the the devil card has such has so many multiple different different meanings. This is really going to be something different for all of you thousands of Tauruses out there who watch this. Um, the devil card can be something as little as something in excess. There's too much of something um, that might have been going on in the recent past. That can be as little as like overeating, staying out too late, drinking too much, doing other things too much. This can be a card that talks about lust, which you did pull the lover's card here. Um, so, you know, there are some Tauruses that might, you know, be having some good good lusty times right now and, and were, were having them in the recent past. Um, so something as little as that. To me, I don't get a real, like a really bad feeling off of this card at all. To me, this is going to be something that seems minor for lots of Tauruses out there. But, you know, because it is a general reading, there might be some Tauruses. You can see this person at the bottom of the card who's like chained. Um, because this card can represent maybe for some Tauruses in your past, you might have felt bound or chained to maybe some unhealthy relationships. I don't feel as though that that is talking about this relationship here. I believe this is in the past. That's a previous relationship. You probably have nothing to do with them anymore. This is a totally different relationship that's standing before you or coming in the month of September. But yes, um, so it, the card can represent, you know, feeling bound or trapped in unhealthy relationships previously. Or this can just simply be talking about, you know, doing things in excess you might need a little bit more moderation, a little bit more balance. Um, you might have needed a little bit more balance and stuff in the past. And it can be as little as spending too much, you know. Maybe you're doing some online shopping or this can be as little as maybe eating too much or something like that. Taurus. What I do have coming up presently is you have the hanged man, Taurus. So you might be feeling, there might have been some Tauruses that felt blocked in some way. Blocked or in suspense, like things weren't really happening. And that very well could be on the relation, relationship front. 
Now this is coming up in the present position. So there are, you know, because I am filming this in the month of August still, I believe today is only like the 19th of August. Um, yes, it's actually just turning the 20th right now because I'm filming this late at night. But, um, yeah, so right now in the month of August, Taurus, you can feel as though, you know, you might be a little blocked or things aren't really happening. You might have stopped dating because the hangman is talking about someone has voluntarily kind of taken them out of a equation. Like they're voluntarily sacrificing something or they're voluntarily um, in suspense. They're voluntarily waiting on uh, to do something, basically. It's not that it's, it can just represent a feeling of being blocked in some way or things aren't really necessarily happening. Um, but I do show things actually about to happen in the month of September, Taurus. So if you currently feel blocked in August, just know um, that I believe things are really going to start to take off in the month of September. Um, because you actually have some some beautiful cards coming up What you have in the near future is the moon card So Taurus in the near future I would say because this is a general reading there are going to be some Tauruses that possibly might be They might really need to use their intuition, you know, coming up. And it might be in regards to this relationship. It might be in regards to, you know, if you're signing some new contracts, Taurus. Um, yeah, definitely always go with your gut. Always use your intuition. But also this card is letting me know that not everything is known yet. The moon card represents secrets and, and things that are, you know, um, not not all is what it seems. You know, things aren't all to be exactly what they 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 seem to be. There's there's things that are hidden. Um, there's secrets that aren't known yet. So not everything is known yet. So just keep that in the back of your mind, and that very well could be in regards to this relationship, or that very well could be in regards to maybe this this new beginning that you had, if you had a new beginning at work, or if you are signing some sort of contract. Yes, I would just definitely say that there's something that's not known yet. And you might find out. You there There is a chance that you might find out in this upcoming month of September. So just definitely um, keep a lookout for that. You know, and if, it, if it's not that for you, because this is a general reading, it's just, this card is just basically always telling you to go with your intuition and go with your gut. What I have coming up, Taurus, as your power in the situation, and, the, and this is you, Taurus, you are the fool, which is just a beautiful card because this is some sort of new beginning. This is you going down a new path. So that is so exciting. Ah, oh, so exciting, Taurus. I'm excited. I'm a Taurus. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is actually in this Shadowscapes deck. This full card is actually just a really beautiful card. Just a very, very, very pretty card. And it's, it's just representing some sort of new path, new beginning. Um, we're about to embark on so it's very exciting um, definitely paired up with this moon card don't because you know the full card can represent that that naiveness definitely um, don't be naive and definitely you know keep eyes on the back of your head um, Definitely use your intuition and just know that there might be some things that aren't known yet. Um, not everything might be known yet. But with that being said, this is a beautiful card. 
it very well can be connected to this justice card this ace of pentacles and of course you know the ace of cups in the love what i have external to you and this is kind of the card that clashes because the the rest of the reading is beautiful in your hopes and fears and this is just in the hopes and fears so this isn't happening taurus this is the ten of swords so that i'm not really counting your final outcome is beautiful so this one card right here is basically the only really negative card in the spread and it's kind of clashing um but this is coming up in your external so this might not necessarily be happening with happening with you Taurus it is the tower and this might not be happening with you Taurus but this very well could be happening a situation that's happening to maybe a close friend to maybe a family member this can be multiple different things the tower is talking about things, um, it's talking about a structure that is it's crumbling down and it's crumbling down because it wasn't built on a strong enough foundation. So at some point in time, you know, that structure was going to come crumbling down basically because it just wasn't strong enough. So with the tower, it gives you it gives you the opportunity to actually rebuild and rebuild a stronger foundation and something that's actually meant to last. And this is in the external. So for some Tauruses out there, I mean, I know this is in the external, but I can link this over to this devil card because for some Tauruses, this will be like, it, a past relationship that ended, you know, um, it might have been a very unhealthy relationship. Some of you might have felt trapped or bound to it to, in some degree. And it, But it did come crumbling down and it did end. Um, and now you have this new beginning and this new relationship. It's a fresh start and it gives you a, a new opportunity, Taurus, to actually rebuild and do things differently um and, and rebuild on a on a solid stronger foundation so that's one um possibility taurus another possibility because this does sit in the external i would just say i don't believe this is happening to you taurus it can be but i really get the feeling that it's really happening around you in some way shape or form and because this is general that really could be just about a million different things. But this can be like a family member or a close friend. This can be like someone's, I hate to say it, God forbid, but this is, can be like someone's, you know, health maybe declining a little bit. This can be, and I'm not saying death, I'm just saying there, maybe, you know, their health declines or maybe some sort of just negative experience um, this can be like a best friend of yours who who you know is getting a divorce or maybe maybe someone close to you is losing a job this can just just about be a thousand different things I personally don't feel like it's for you Taurus I feel like it's around you in some way if you do know what this is Taurus definitely let me know what this is I am interested in knowing that and it will be different for all of you definitely share your experiences um, but what I have coming up in your hopes and fears is the Ten of Swords. So this isn't happening. This is only in the hopes and fears. So you're just hoping, or excuse me, fearing loss in some way. You're fearing loss. Um, this card can be talking about, you know, getting stabbed in the back. 
But other than that, it's a card that just represents loss and sadness, sorrow, just, just deep sadness, pain. I do believe this, this is probably, probably for a very, 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 very small amount of Tauruses out there. But you might know of someone close to you or a friend or family member. You might know something is going on. And you might, you know, really not want it to happen for them. You might be, you know, extremely fearful that something is going to take place. Whatever happens to us, just, just use your intuition. Just know that there might be some things that are still unknown. Not everything is known yet. And, and whatever does crumble, whatever does crumble and fall, you know, with, when things end, that's the good thing. That's like the light at the end, you know, of the road here is... It gives us the chance for a rebirth. It gives us the chance for a new beginning. All right. So when things do end, um, a lot of times that's a difficult situation finally coming to an end. Um, and, and that's in itself is, is sometimes a miracle um, or sometimes a very, you know, much needed p positive thing because then it gives us the chance to actually have that new beginning. All right, but Taurus, what I do have in the final outcome position, which is a beautiful card, it's the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful card that talks about financial abundance and just basically having everything you need. Everything you need. Um, you can afford those little extras. This person in the card, she has a piano, she has animals, she's got nice clothing on. She really can afford um, just those little extras. It's not quite the ten of pentacles, but I mean, you're right there almost. It, it's just a beautiful card. So I think Taurus in the month of September, finances are looking very good. Job, career, finances seem to be um, coming in very strong. You have two aces in your spread. So this very well can be a new relationship that's starting out. Starting up definitely with the lover's card here. You do have the ace of pentacles as well. So there might be some Tauruses that, you know, are landing a new job or a new contract for a new job because you did pull the justice card. Um, you do have the full card. This is all about some sort of new, inspiring, exciting beginning that's, that's just about to start. So that's lovely, Taurus. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually shuffle my Earth Magic Oracle cards. I'm going to pull you an additional card, additional guidance card for the month of September. So please show me a message for Taurus for the upcoming month of September, please. What does Taurus need to know? Taurus, you have ceremony, invocation. I'm going to put this right here and grab the book so I can read that. Additional message. Taurus, it says, 
whether through indifference, depression, life crisis, or any other manifestation of mental, emotional, or physical blockages, you have drifted from the intimacy with spirit for which you yearn. It is important to do what you can to regain an experience of spiritual power that is contained within you and all around you. Do so by conducting a ceremony, one that involves not only spirit, but also material objects you consider sacred. Set up an altar in a convenient area that is apart from your usual living space. Start with representations of the four major elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and then add just a few sacred ob objects. Set your intention for the ceremony, such as whether the purpose is for healing, celebration, or honoring a particular earth season or cycle. Then do an invocation to call upon your spirit guides. Breathe their presence and ask these divine beings to guide you throughout the process. Trust their guidance, feel your heartbeat, and keep breathing. Breathe is, breathe is the key to the actual ex experience of spirit and creating a ceremony is the vehicle that supports this. All right, so, so Taurus, that is your additional message from the Earth Magic Oracle Cards deck. I do hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Um, I hope you received the messages that you were meant to receive. I do wish you all the best, Taurus, and I'll see you next month. Take care.